Apart from like the stuff on the uni website, I couldn't find much on YouTube about my uni's accommodation. So I thought I would share to help others because I could have done with that. And I got given this accommodation and I didn't really know what it was like at all. And secondly, I want to like time capture it. Remember it how it is right now. Because I'm never going to be in halls again. That's what I thought I'd do. Portsmouth has, I can't even remember how many. There's like Harry Law, Margaret Royal, Greetham, James Watson, etc. I'm actually in Langston Student Village. I didn't choose to be here. It, there was a lot of complicated stuff going on last year and um, I ended up not getting accommodation but then a couple of weeks before uni actually started I came down to a housing event and I got a place in this accommodation and even though it's the furthest from uni it's, it's all right in terms of getting into the city there's a bus that goes between here and the city which is where the majority of uni buildings are so it's all right you just have to plan everything a little bit in advance but there's no harm in that really so it's okay and in terms of being a film student it's not been too bad apart from obviously like we loan equipment from the store when we need to use it i wouldn't be able to store it here very easily but because there was other people in my group at other accommodations it was okay i hope you enjoy and i hope you find this like informative because that's my that's my plan <laughs> let's get started this is the back of my door there's just a hook um, I've got my rucksack here um, and my handbags and coats and an apron because my mum gave it to me because she was like Claire you might need it so but that's just the back of my door it does its job so from my doorway this is my the view the doorway I don't really use for much because obviously it's quite narrow but at the moment I am keeping like stuff to take back home because I'm moving out in a week's time I'm moving out on the 11th so the first thing you see when you come in is my notice board. So this is my notice board. It has all my pictures of friends from uni on it. And mostly duck pins, but I ran out. So. I got these through free prints. So I might put my code in the description if anyone's interested. You can order like 40 pictures per month and only pay delivery. So it's really decent. This bunting was a make your own bunting. Make your own patterns in it and stuff. So I just thought... It would be a nice addition to my room. And we have my British Bake Off calendar, which is still on March. Bear in mind it's June now. I've not been keeping track, but it's okay. This is my calendar. It was bigger than this, but I folded it in half as the time went on. It's just useful, and all the stuff in red was my deadlines. So that was really exciting. I pretty much had a lot of stuff to in in the space of a month and a half. I've got fairy lights around it but I think they've broken but they're from Ikea. They're the ones you can add flowers onto or snowflakes so I have like snowflake things for them. I think I customised it nice and it's it's a nice bit of my room because now I can see like all my friends from uni. So we have this little pocket where they put like information about stuff. They give us a little folder with our room. Um, so I have quite a large size desk. This is kind of like my drinks area. I've got a coaster and some squash because it's good to keep hydrated. We've got some stationery, a little stationery holder from Wilkinson's, it's like a two part one. And we've got my cactus, a picture of me and my friends in a photo frame that one of them got me for my birthday. So here I have my cracker box which has well, not many crackers left in it to be honest because I got it at like Christmas but I've I put any like snacks I want to keep in my room in there. And on top of it I've got a whiteboard because we used it to make storyboards at some point. And I got this tape which I literally bought yesterday. Then I have a pile of my like books and stuff, mostly recipe books. I've got a dictionary and thesaurus just in case I needed it for essays. Some fine liners, my budgeting book from Wilkinson's. This is like my folder and my textbooks. And there is my MacBook. That's pretty snazzy. In terms of electrical like supply or whatever, um, there's two plugs there, um, an aerial for your TV if you wanted one, um, an ethernet cable thing I think, and some more plugs there. The window takes up 
the whole of the room. Down this side of the desk there are three drawers. The top one I use for stationery and stuff, the middle one I use for notebooks, um, and the bottom one I use for cleaning supplies and bin bags and stuff. This is my two boxes of junk. I'm not going to show you anything inside them. This is my bed. It's kind of built into the storage system over there. But um, this bedding is the bedding that everyone seems to have. Um, it's from Ikea and it's really nice. And the blanket I have on it is super soft and it's from Primark. In the side of the bed is another drawer. I've got that full of all sorts. Um, magazines and things and oh, and my tripod and stuff. It's a good bit of storage. And it's really big. As you can see I can actually see the canteen from here. So this is my little... I'm not sure, it's kind of like inspirational and friends from home and things like that. Got a few Polaroids, a um, few photo strips with my friends and my brother. This is some of my uni friends and this is like friends from home. This is kind of my inspiration and just, I don't even know, side. There's lots of quotes and things and on little postcards but then there's I've also got the Doctor Who one and the... Harry Potter one at the bottom, so I don't know. Kind of just a little, <laughs> little wall of stuff, but obviously I can't put it on a wall because it will take the paint off, so that's why I put it on the wood. And that I haven't been held up so far, so apparently it's okay. So next we have my little shelf. So on the top I have my makeup brushes, my nail varnish, perfume, a few lipsticks, that sort of thing. And my fixing spray and my makeup brush remover. And the next shelf is my makeup. These boxes are all from Birch Boxes. Um, they're like lids and tops of them. And I've labelled each one with some stamps I got from Tiger. There's eye makeup in these, um, lip balms, lips, and miscellaneous, which is like face masks and stuff. And then powders, and I think the other one says face. So face is like foundation and things. And then here are some eyeshadows. So this is my bedside table, there's more plugs here, and then I've just got a picture of my best friend, my alarm clock, some washi tapes and things, stamps, my keys, wristbands, medicine and like my nail set, I've got like hand sanitizer, face glitter and the stuff the doctor gave me for my skin. And there's my bullet journal, I want to do a video on that soon maybe. So here we have three drawers, top one has like underwear and socks in it, middle is like cosmetics and then the bottom one I use for technology like my laptop charger and stuff. So here we have my wardrobe and the other storage things. Um, on my wardrobe I have a Les post when I went to see it last year and then underneath that I have a one I got from the post to sale at the vintage fair. My wardrobe is pretty small, hopefully next year I have a bigger one but it's good enough. If we look inside my wardrobe I kind of colour code it. I've got a suitcase at the bottom and then more clothes up there. Does the job. Then above I basically have some storage cupboards where I store like duvet that's not being used, sleeping bag and boxes and woolen stuff. So next we have my bathroom, um, I have a fantastic piece poster I bought at the poster sale on the door inside my bathroom. <laughs> this is my bathroom, um, sorry for the noise, it's the um, extractor fan up there. Yeah, it's a good bathroom, it does its job, that's my sink. My caddy with all my shower gel and everything in it, but it kept falling off the wall so I just put it on the floor for now. A toilet, because what's a bathroom without a toilet? Got a mirror and pretty much a shaving light but it works and then we have the shower literally a shower is pretty tiny and it closes like this and that's pretty much my bathroom also a hook to put towels on and stuff so that's useful on the floor is um, a bunch of things but this is kind of my cleaning supplies and my washing powder and uh, air freshener for that um, and in front of the radiator is my shoes. This is my radiator. Um, my mum gave me this little rack to put on it, which has been kind of helpful to dry small things like flannels and stuff. That's my Disneyland Paris magnet. And then we have my one of my favourite bits of the room, which is my shelf. It's got two shelves. The bottom shelf contains like, all the DVDs and books I brought and the CDs I brought as well. And then a few like little pots of UV paint and things. I definitely brought too many DVDs. 
I mean, I am a film student, but your fairy lights kind of describe like the sort of thing I'm into, I think. On the top shelf, it's kind of from, like my little display shelf where I wanted to be a bit more like expressive. I don't even know. Is it expressive? Got a little metal elephant, a little sign that says life is like riding a bicycle. To keep going, you must keep moving. This I thought was really nice because it kind of, it's a lens mug and a clapper board, but it kind of shows the film aspect of me. And we got my reed diffuser now these are really good if you're a student because you're not allowed candles but reed diffusers are like candles but without the fire primark do ones for one pound and then got more fairy lights like dotted around here as you can see that's my polaroid and then this is my disney corner um so we've got dory mickey minnie stitch pascal coxworth crush um a Mickey Mouse toy right at the back and my Minnie Mouse ears I got from Disneyland. And at the top of that we have my ukulele. So hope you guys enjoyed that um, and it was beneficial to you. Future me, if you're watching um, this is what your room looked like from 2016 in September to June 2017. If you like this video please give it a like and it shows what sort of content you like and things so I know if you like me making university stuff so I might make more and also please comment because I love having discussions just talking to you guys because like I like knowing like the faces behind my my viewers if that makes sense you know what I mean and subscribe if you want and hit the bell <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um, I should be making a schedule soon so you'll see me a lot more I hope because obviously I've been at uni and it's been hard to find time to film and also um, feel like I could because I don't like filming here in case like people can hear me talking. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time, bye.